The sun heats the surface water, but the aeration system keeps the dugout well mixed and temperatures uniform. A small supply of plant nutrients limits algae growth. The aeration system in the wind keeps the dugout well mixed. The limited amount of algae floating in the water allows the light to reach the bottom of the dugout. This encourages the growth of rooted weeds at the bottom of the dugout. The aeration system and the wind combine to maintain high concentrations of oxygen throughout the dugout. A small amount of algae dies and falls to the bottom of the dugout. The dead algae decompose and consume oxygen. The aeration system keeps oxygen concentrations high and the dugout well mixed. Water quality remains good. Unaerated, the sun heats the surface water which floats on the cold deep water. This reduces the ability of the wind to mix the water at the bottom of the dugout. Conditions are suitable for algae growth. The sun continues to heat the surface water, limiting the mixing to the top few feet. The surface algae bloom becomes thick, restricting the light penetration to the top level of the dugout. Rooted weed growth is limited to the edges of the dugout. Green algae consume all of the available nitrogen, die, and fall to the bottom, where they decompose using oxygen, which is not replaced. The absence of oxygen in the water allows plant nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, and metals like iron and manganese, which are trapped in the sediment to dissolve into the water. Water quality deteriorates at the bottom. Autumn. Aerated, the water temperature cools and the algae die and fall to the bottom of the dugout. The aeration system and wind continue to maintain high concentrations of oxygen throughout the dugout. Unaerated, the surface water temperature cools and creates a uniform temperature throughout the dugout. All algae decompose and fall to the bottom, consuming oxygen at the bottom of the dugout. The uniform temperature allows the wind to mix the dugout, increasing oxygen concentrations throughout the dugout, and temporarily improves the water quality. Winter. Aerated. Oxygen is carried to the bottom of the dugout by the circulating water. Dead organic material decays aerobically at the bottom of the dugout. Water quality remains good. Oxygen is supplied to the dugout from the aeration system and the atmosphere. The oxygen is carried to the bottom of the dugout by the circulating water. Dead organic material decays aerobically at the bottom of the dugout. Water quality remains good. Unaerated, very little oxygen diffuses through the ice. Water quality near the surface remains good. Algae decay quickly, consumes available oxygen, and becomes anaerobic. Water quality begins to deteriorate at the bottom of the dugout. Under anaerobic conditions, the layer of poor quality water quickly grows and moves upwards. Nitrogen and phosphorus move from the sediment into the water. Hydrogen sulfide, H2S, forms and produces a rotten egg smell. Water quality continues to deteriorate. Spring, aerated. Dugout water becomes a constant temperature as the heat of the sun melts the ice. Oxygen diffuses into the water from the atmosphere and is carried to the bottom of the dugout by the circulating water. Nutrients remain trapped in the sediment. Unaerated, dugout water becomes a constant temperature as the heat of the sun melts the ice. Wind blowing over the dugout surface causes the turn over the water, mixing poor quality water throughout the dugout. Nutrients rise to the surface.